The Musician's Profit Path is a framework that I created to help musicians see a path between starting out as an unknown indie artist and going to you know the level where they're a professional musician and they're a profitable musician and that doesn't mean that they're full-time that's one thing that i think people get confused about about the musician's profit path just because you've gotten to the professional level level doesn't mean that you are doing this full-time it just means that you have income streams coming in that you've developed that you can keep making money from your music that you're building your fan base constantly and you've got a system that's doing that and so when i developed this it was really from working with students in my academy and seeing kind of the things that they were doing at each level and what was working for people at the level that they're at because a lot of times what happens is people are doing things uh, for marketing that aren't going to work for them because they're things that really work for people at a higher level. For example, if they are, you know, hiring a PR agent or a radio promoter, but it's their first single and they don't have anyone on their email list, they don't have a lot of following online, they can't really use their current fan base to amplify all of that PR that they're getting. And it's also going to be harder for them to get traction in PR and radio if they can't show that they already have, you know, built up somewhat of a fan base. So it's, it's a little bit of a chicken and the egg kind of thing. And so you got to do that preliminary work, what I call the foundation, before you even start promoting yourself, making sure that you've got a website and starting to build your email list of the people that are already interested in your music that are close to you and just getting those systems in place. So then when you get to the second stage, which is the promotion stage, then you can start using that promotion that you get and amplifying it and getting social proof, showing that social proof to all the people that are starting to be interested in your music that you already have fans that are interested. And then the next levels I call the expansion stage because that is when you are really, really um, expanding your reach in doing a lot of different kinds of performances. You are expanding your reach in ways that you communicate with your email list, online, um, your social media, all of that. And then the next stage is the automation stage where you start putting some systems into your business as a musician and maybe you bring on some help to, because at this point you've got so much going on that you can't possibly do it all yourself. And then you hit that profession stage. And at that point, you're just building on what you've already built. And I came up with this framework because I saw so many musicians either trying to do things that were above the level that they were at and it, they weren't working for them, working for them yet because they hadn't built that foundation. Or I saw them like moving ahead and doing things and realizing that there was a lot of holes that they had missed. You know, maybe they have been performing for 30 years, but they had absolutely no online presence or maybe they were doing a lot of stuff online and building up a brand, but yet they didn't even have the performance chops yet to be able to, to back that brand up with being a quality entertainer. So because of that, I developed the Musician's Profit Path. It became the basis for my academy, and then I decided to write my book around that. And what I love about the Musician's Profit Path book is that it gives you checklists for every section and you don't want to move forward until you've checked off everything on the list. And that means you won't have any holes in your business and you'll have built a very solid foundation as you move up kind of the stair steps up to becoming what I call the professional musician.